everyone, I'm Peter from Jack Tizard School and today we are doing cooking. Are you ready? <laughs> what are we making today? We are making biscuits. Biscuits. But before we start, Let's wash our hands. Okay, so we need to start with washing our hands. So we're gonna have warm water and salt. I'm gonna rub our hands really well. Now imagine we're all really used to washing our hands over the past few weeks, so there's no excuses. Okay, all the way in. And off we go. Okay, let's have a look at the ingredients we need to make biscuits. Sugar. Sugar. Okay, so we need 150 grams of sugar. Um, I've used caster sugar here, but I don't think it matters too much what kind of sugar you use. Butter. Butter. 250 grams of butter or margarine, just as long as it's soft. Egg. Egg. One egg, um, but again, don't worry too much if you don't have any eggs, you can leave it out. Um, the taste would be the same, it's just the text would be a bit different. Flour. Flour. 220 grams of self-raising flour um, and if you're using plain flour just add a teaspoon of baking powder and for your last ingredient um, you can pretty much ha add anything you want um, and this is just to give some taste and some different flavours so I've decided to add chocolate buttons all right so let's get cooking so I've got my sugar in a large bowl ready and I've got a wooden spoon and I'm going to add my butter first. So, as I said uh, before, it's better to have soft butter. So, if you can leave it out for a bit before. And all we're going to do with this is mix it up until it's all mixed in and it's all nice and fluffy. Stuck to the spoon. So, if you've got a blender, you could use that. Um, but I thought it's quite good to do it by your hands sometimes and you just keep mixing. It's made a bit of a mess, but never mind. There we go. So it's much easier because it's softer. Now if it had been straight out of the fridge, it would have been really hard to do. Um, depending on the sugar you've used, it might take a bit longer as well um, to get all fully mixed in. Okay, so this is starting to mix. So to get some muscles in. There we go. Okay. Right, so that's all coming together in the bowl. And this is the bit where you need your big, strong muscles. There we go. Right. So, can you see? It's getting all fluffy and nice. Okay. All right. I think that's nearly done. Let's give it another mix. Okay, right, what I'm going to add now is the egg, I didn't beat the egg, so I'm just going to do that. Okay, so just beat your egg before, just with a fork. In that goes. And then mix that all the way in. Just 
spray. It looks like slime. So make sure you get all the bits from the side. yucky at the minute okay and then we're going to add our flour okay so again this was all weighed out before so i'm going to pour that straight in and just give that a mix okay and making a little bit of a mess okay a lot of a mess might go a bit slower that's better Okay, so mixing all that in. Okay, right, so that's all coming together. As you can see, so I'm starting to get a dough together. So again, keep mixing from the sides. The bowl's really heavy. Okay. So, we've got kind of a dough there, so we'll keep mixing that. It's got a big blob of butter that's not mixed in. Okay, right, and then the last thing I'm going to do is add your extra ingredients. And as I said before, I'm using chocolate, so I've just got some chocolate buttons, but that um, you could add pretty much anything you want. Um, I'm just going to scrunch them up a little bit, just going to break them, just because they're quite big. I might leave some of them quite big as well. Just break those up. Right, and I'm going to pop those in. There we go. Right, mix those in with the dough. Okay, so my dough is all mixed together um, and I'm covered in flour as well. Um, so what I'm going to do, I've got a bit of cling film here. Um, I'm just going to pop the dough on that. Into my sack. I need to use two hands for this. So just a big blob. So just on cling film, get all the dough out of that. Okay. Okay. Right, I'm just going to wrap this up in the cling film. So. Okay, so I can kind of make it into a ball if I want, or a sausage shape. So what I've got there is my um, cookie dough, and I'm going to pop this in the fridge for about an hour. Uh, okay, so while the dough is in the fridge, I'm going to get the oven on, and you want 180 degrees fan, or 200 degrees if not, or that is gas mark four. Okay, so I've taken the dough out of the fridge, um, it's much firmer. Um, and what I've got here is just a baking tray with some greaseproof paper. Um, but don't worry too much if you haven't got any greaseproof paper, just use some uh, butter to, just to wipe it down. Okay, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna unwrap this. And I'm gonna take little sort of pieces like that and just roll them. I'm gonna pop them on here, okay? So you could do big ones, little ones. I'm gonna pop this in. But make sure that they're all spread far apart because the, the cookies will spread whilst they're cooking, okay? So I'm just gonna roll some of these out. And we'll just do a few. It feels really 
No? Uh, gooey. That bit's got loads of chocolate in, so that one will be good. Okay. Now I'm just going to leave that as that. And what I'll do, I can wrap that back up and pop that back in the fridge. And then all I'm going to do, I'm just going to flatten these down a little bit. You can either use your fingers or you could use a fork. Okay, right, these are ready to go in the oven. Okay, so I'm going to pop these in the oven. And remember, we heated that before to 180 degrees. So I'm just going to pop these in. Careful, because it's hot. And they're going to take about eight to ten minutes. Uh, so I've got the timer on. Um, and we'll see what happens in eight to ten minutes. Okay, so the timer is going off. So let's have a look. Now remember, this is going to be really hot. So you need some oven gloves. So let's have a look. Okay, so these have just come out of the oven and they're still quite soft, which is how they should be. Okay, but they should be nice and golden. Um, I'm just going to get some from before. Um, it doesn't matter if they all stick together. Um, just use a knife and just gently separate them, which is what I did for my first ones. And um, once these have cooled in here for a few minutes, I'm just going to put them on a cooling tray just to completely cool for a bit longer. So here we are, some chocolate chip cookies. Now, I know everything's very different at the minute and we all have to stay at home. And we might be feeling worried, we might be feeling scared or even sad. But we know that the safest place is for us to stay at home. And I know we have to stay at home just for a little bit more but it won't be too long before we're all back at Jack Tizard and we're all back with our friends. Hey.